Today is my Independence Day, and you know what? Feels weird. I was mixed about making this video, I really was, but I think it's important because I'm still amazed at a couple things. And oh, by the way, I got these gloves specifically because they're blue gloves. And we used to call them the blue glove people because they would wear these and then you'd go into the parking lot about a year ago and you'd see them just dropped on the ground just wherever the people got done using them. Blue glove people, if you're going to use blue gloves, pick them up. These masks have become such a symbol of contention. First, we were supposed to wear a mask. Some people used bandanas and eventually everybody got something like this. Or they wore the N95 mask or some sort of a surgical mask. And then we were supposed to wear two masks. I went through the whole spectrum on masks. And before I get much further along in this discussion, I just want to be upfront with you. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. And I'm somewhere in the middle and I don't even know what that label is. I don't want to put a label on me. I really believe in a holistic solution and it's nonpartisan. I'm not favoring one group or another, but when I got my first vaccination, I was still wearing this and I was really tempted to take it off because I started seeing people not wearing masks. That's where it came out. You didn't have to wear a mask anymore if you had two shots. And so I couldn't wait for my second shot. And I got that about two weeks ago. And then I found myself almost jealous that people weren't wearing masks. And I was like, did they really get the vaccination? And it got crazy. And all these things go in your mind and you're sitting there going, well, you know what? Just let it go. Let it go. And then as I got to the point where I don't have to wear a mask in public anymore, I felt it so liberating. It was just such an incredible feeling. And yet it was you know, it was something we didn't even consider two years ago. Crazy. Now let's talk a little bit about the vaccine. My family has gotten both the Pfizer, that is the Pfizer vial, six shots in there. Here is the Moderna vial, 10 shots in there. Yeah, you're on. I'm okay, here we go. Getting shot, second time. Relax it on for me, please. Okay. Thank you. The nanobots are gonna hurt. <laughs> I don't know why people think that, it's ridiculous. Okay. It just doesn't make sense. Moderna. Ah! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the needles are so thin nowadays, too. Doesn't hurt, man. I didn't, I didn't even feel it. All right, so I didn't die. It's going to be awesome, and I feel great. So don't be afraid. Oh, that's awesome. I like the excitement. I want to see them every So he's pretty smart. He preps the band aid right there, ready to go. Never seen anybody do that before, like her. Perfect. I like that. Interesting technique. Never seen it before. <laughs> I got the vaccine. This is the actual vial that had our stuff in it. And you can see all the nanobots <laughs> floating on the inside. Take your microscope. Check it out. When I got the first shot and my younger kids got the Pfizer because the Moderna wasn't available, no reaction. Second shot, my older son and me, a little bit groggy. My wife had a different experience. She was kind of under the weather after the first shot and the second shot. But I've known people who have gotten the coronavirus. Their sense of smell, their sense of taste is totally out of whack. And that's for people who have recovered with no issues. There's all sorts of things that are going on there. I'm not trying to be over the top on this. I just think we need to start coming together as a country and as a world population to kind of learn how to work with each other again. Let's address some of the things that are going on as far as what's in these little bottles. Now, I actually got these bottles and it has a little bit of solution in there. I'm an engineer by profession, so I'm a skeptic. But when I see the data, I've got to believe in the data. I've talked to people and I've said, you know, why aren't you getting the shot? Well, because there's tracking chips in these things. <laughs> The thing I heard recently is that there's magnetic particles in here that get you all wonked out on, you know, 5G. And there was even a demonstration that I could not believe that was actually videotaped and, and had a lot of credibility about things sticking to people. So we're going to try that out and see if it actually works. We're going to take these metallic objects and we're going to see if they actually stick to my skin because I've had two Moderna shots and according to some people, 
and the internet and some crazy YouTube videos, these metallic objects should stick to my skin. So let's just give it a shot and see what happens. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> I'm really scared now. All right. You know what? I'm not scared at all. And I'll tell you why. This is my super magnet fishing rig. We'll post up there. I'll show you the testing of this, but also of uh, how it works. And let's make it honest here. Okay, here's some scissors. All right. At least 300 force pounds connection to that guy. So let's take these and put these things to the test. Let's try this one. Uh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. And <laughs> this one person was convinced the key. The key worked here on her skin. Let's see if I can make it happen there. Oh, look at that. Kind of, kind of works. And then she brought it up to her cheek and it didn't work, but a bobby pin did. I'll tell you exactly what's going on. You know, this is just a wet towel. Contact moisture on the skin, whether it's perspiration or whatever, has a much more attractive force than, than any magnetic particles that could be in this vial. Don't believe everything you see on the internet. So let's talk a little bit about the shot itself. Now that I have some experience, and my family has ex some experience with it. When you go to get your shot, you'll get a card like this. And you'll have the first vax of what it is. It will put down the date and then the second date. And then on the back, it shows you what date that you can come back by. And so here's a couple things about it. And I've got it all on this chart right here. Pause the video if you want and look at that chart. When I got the shot, I was asking some questions. And the first question I said was, what is the gauge of the needle? And the reason why is because if the needles are big, they're gonna hurt. What the person told me, they were sent 22 gauge, which have an outer diameter of 0.7 millimeters. If you look at a centimeter ruler, you can see what a millimeter looks like, and it's very thin. And it's 0.78. And to give you kind of a reference, the average width of a human hair is 0.1 millimeters. So it's like seven human hairs, 22 gauge. But I got shot with a 23 gauge, 0.642 millimeters. According to the person who's given a lot of vaccinations, that difference between 23 and 22 is a big deal. You can use needles in the range of 22 to 25 on this shot. I also found out what the dosages are. For Moderna, a dosage is 0.5 milliliters. For Pfizer, the dosage is 0.3 milliliters. And for the one shot deal from Johnson & Johnson, 0.5 milliliters. You need two shots of Moderna. You need two shots of Pfizer. And this is another interesting thing. You have to get the Moderna shot after 28 days or about four weeks. And for the Pfizer, you only need three weeks. My folks who are in their 80s got the Pfizer shot, the first and the second shot, and they didn't have a reaction at all. I have a friend of mine who's in really good health. First shot, no reaction on the Pfizer. Second shot, he said he felt like he got run over by a semi. So, but the thing to consider is this. I've known people who have died of COVID. I'm sure you have too. And if I can save one life, it's not gonna probably be somebody I know necessarily. But if we all do our part, we can save a lot of lives out there. We really can. One more thing I want to bring up, some interesting statistics. Here's some information from the Mayo Clinic. I'll post this in the bottom of the video down below so that you have this. And this is where all this information was obtained, accurate as of June 11th. The United States overall, 52% of the population, a little over half, have gotten one dose. 42.9, about 43%, are fully vaccinated. So like me, fully vaccinated means you got the second shot and then you waited 
this magical 14 days. I'm not really sure why it's 14 days, but okay. Got to play by the rules. Not because, you know, I'm worried about my freedom, but just do it because that's the best we know. Just like on the mask, okay? We want to we wanna critique people on wearing gloves, wearing masks. I mean, after a while, we stopped wearing gloves, and some of the stores wouldn't even let you go in with gloves. I never went to the two mask deal. I just went with the one mask deal. But it's out of respect of other people. We have to start coming together as a country, as a world population, to understand that if we can just do this little thing, just little things, and it can make all the difference and save some lives, it's well worth it. I have a friend of mine whose family lives down in Brazil, and he's told me some absolute horror stories of family members getting together for parties, not wearing masks, and then like entire families, you know, 28 people or 30 or even 100 will get together, and then like 30%, 30 people out of that 100, or five people out of a group of 28 people gathering together for some sort of celebration died died we've got to stop this all right so i thought it was interesting there's only 10 percent of the of the population under 18 the first dose of pfizer it is because i don't think moderna is available or it's just getting ready to be available now that makes sense because you know we they kind of waited a while on that uh both my Younger kids are under 18, and so they just got shot, and that's why they're a little farther behind than we are. And only 5% are fully vaxxed. So my kids in two weeks, my younger ones, will be fully vaxxed, and they won't have to wear those masks anymore. 18 to 64, this is where I am. Almost 58% of all the people that live in America have gotten a dose, and 47.2 are part of our club, are the No Longer Wearing Mask Club. Hurrah! Almost 92% of people over 65 have gotten the first dose. 80% have become fully vaccinated. I made this video for a whole bunch of reasons. Because I think we really need to come together. And I've said that a couple times, but it's so important. Right now, there's so many things that are just kind of pulling us apart. And this is something that we can get together and help each other out with. You know, no matter what side of the fence you sit on. What if you could bring back some of the people that have passed away that you know that are friends and family? Would you do it? There's a lot of people that are going to be very sick for a very long time because they got exposed to COVID. If those people either stayed at home or whatever it is or got that vaccine and saved your family member or friend's life or just made those people that are suffering post-COVID and that just didn't happen. Would you do it? Would you trade off with some anonymous person that exposed your family member or friend? I did, and I encourage you to do it too. Thumbs up and comments down below. Am I off base here? I'd like to know. I'd like to know why we can't kick COVID in the teeth. Let's take some shots at COVID and put this out of our misery. In a period of time, once things have settled down, we'll figure out who did what to who. And you know, in some cases, it's going to matter. In some cases, it's not. But we just have to come together and make this happen.